All right, everybody. Uh, I'm doing walking beams again. Now, it's a lot easier to do walking beam one at a time because when you take them both out, even if you have them on jack stands, the rears have a tendency to move on you. Even with the torque arm mounts on the top, tor torque arms are a ball joint design and you take the walking beam out, the rears wanna flop, you gotta fight with them come along and back in place, or push them back in place, put a power, whatever. Well, here's a trick to not having to do that. I have a tie bar that I put in place. Now, once you pull the wheels off on one side, take the wheel off, you have to cage the brake because that all depends on where the studs are and location with the width of the tie bar. But you cage one of the brakes, back it off, put a lug nut on, ram it all the way in. Lug nut, ram her home, take the cage bolt out, and as long as you have a good spring brake there and a good spring brake up there, now you're relying that the drums are locked up. Then you can take your walking beam out and you can go to the other side and jack it up and take that walking beam out. And the rears don't go, front one wants you to go kaboom, and the back one wants you to go kaboom. They all stay together in line. You can just jack your walking beam back up in place, put your bolt, your nuts on and saddle on there and your two bolts and two bolts and carry on to the other side. But it's a real simple little tool all you need is a tie strap, and that will hold it in place. Go have fun. See ya.